before this video starts, I just want to say thank you so, 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 so much for 20K. 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 Okay. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is add motion tile to both of our clips. We're going to search for motion tile. And then what we're going to do is change the output width to 300 change the output height to 300 you could also do 200 but i like to put 300 to be safe and then we're going to click on mirror edges and then we're going to copy this one and then paste it onto our second clip and then we're going to press p on our first clip and we're going to right click the position the word position and we're going to press separate dimensions and this will just make it easier for when we do the graph if you know what i'm talking about you know but anyways we're gonna make a stopwatch for x position and then we're gonna go to the end of our clip and then we're gonna change the x position to a higher value and this should be about good highlight over these right click one of them keyframe assistant and then easy ease and then we're gonna go into our graph editor and we're going to do a graph like this and then turn our motion blur of course and then we're just gonna move this keyframe out here so then this should look something like that so far and then what we're gonna do is do the same for the second clip but we're gonna complete the transition so press P right click position separate dimensions and then we're going to click X and then we're going to put this keyframe at the end of our clip and then we're gonna move it this way so it should be going like negative when we play this back it should complete it but we have to highlight over these right click one of them keyframe assistant and then we're going to do a graph like this and then turn our motion blur and then once we play this back it should look something like this but yeah it should look something like that first effect that i'm going to add is displacement but i'm going to make a new adjustment layer so right click this box new adjustment layer so we're going to add displacement map add that on there and then what we're messing with is the horizontal displacement so we're going to change the vertical displacement to zero and then we're going to go to the beginning of our timeline click the stopwatch for max horizontal displacement go to the middle of the transition and then we're going to increase this and then after that go to the end and then change it back to zero so it should go zero 200 something and then back to zero and then we're going to highlight over all these right click one of them keyframe assistant easy ease and then we're going to add a little graph and it's going to look something like this and then once you play it back it should look something like that after we do this what we're going to do is pre-compose all these layers so shift command c to pre-compose and then we're going to press ok and then what we're going to do is cut it where the transition was so shift command d add warp to the first part and then we're going to change the warp style to fish eye and then change the bend to zero go to the beginning make a keyframe for bend go towards the end of the clip and then we're going to change the bend to negative 100 and then we're going to press u and then we're going to highlight over all of these easy ease them go into our graph editor and then we're going to do an overshoot graph and what this does is if we put this keyframe up it like bounces up just a little bit like you can't really see it that much but it like makes it bounce upwards and after that we're going to go into our second clip and then we're going to add optics compensation and what this does is finishes the warp press reverse lens distortion so click that box and then we're going to go to the end of the video click stopwatch for field of view should be at zero go to the beginning and then we're going to change it to about like 100 and then we're going to move this keyframe highlight over these press y do a graph like this and then we're just going to move that like that and then once you play this back it should do something like this and then of course add motion blur and then last part pre-compose this one more time if you want to and then what we're going to do is duplicate this layer and we're going to add tv damage and then what we're going to do is go to the middle of the transition we're going to press t make a stopwatch for opacity go forward change this to zero and then go the other way and change this to zero and then it'll like do the like little transition and then you can pre-compose this one more time and add rsmb or if you don't have rsmb you can search for force motion blur and that just gives it a little extra blur 
like rsmb all right next transition is the luma key transition i love this effect i use it all the time actually click your first clip and then we're gonna go to the end of our clip and we're gonna right click it and then we're gonna go under time and then we're gonna press freeze on last frame and then what we're gonna do is add luma key to this so we're gonna search up luma key and if you don't want to use luma key and if you have s underscore dissolve luma i suggest s underscore dissolve luma but i'm trying to make this as inclusive as possible because some people don't have plugins click the threshold button stopwatch button and then we're gonna go forward a few frames and then we're gonna change it to a higher number make sure it's like all disappeared press u and then we're gonna move this keyframe out just a little bit easy ease these and then we're going to do a small graph like this it shouldn't be like too tight but like we wanted to you know do something like that like you really don't even need a graph but just forget what i said click our second layer and if this is pre-composed which it should be what we're going to do is duplicate it add a mask on this and be ellipse tool it's going to be something like this click our second layer press t to bring up opacity click the stopwatch and then move this keyframe to the beginning and then we're going to go to the end of our clip and we're going to change this to a lower number click this button and then change the feather of it and then it should like make her face brighter because we want her face to be the center of attention and then after we do that pre-compose all these layers and then what we're going to do is go to the beginning of the clip press s stopwatch press p stopwatch press u and then you're going to go to the end of your clip and then we're just going to simply zoom in on her face now after we zoomed in on her face highlight all these keyframes easy ease them and then we're going to change this to speed graph and then we're going to try to match you see where this cut is we're going to match the tip with the graph tip if that makes sense we're going to do something like this but then we're going to add motion blur and then once we play this back we should get something like this if we want to add some extra stuff just add rgb time warp rgb and this is a sapphire plugin unfortunately but i'm pretty sure there's like diy videos that you can do this but i lowkey forgot how to do it so i'll try to do it in a future video after that we can add some rsmb and then we are done with this transition all right and now for our last transition we have the glitch slide anyways what we're gonna do is basically zoom this in first so we're gonna press s on our first clip click the stopwatch go to the end of our clip and then zoom it in like just a little bit like it doesn't even need to be that much just like a few little decimal places <laughs> what are we going to do easy ease them and then we're going to do a value graph and we're going to change it to something like this and then we're going to go to our second clip press s click the stopwatch and then we're going to go to the end and then we're going to zoom it in just like a tiny bit and then we're going to easy ease it graph editor and then we're going to do a graph like this and then it should look something like that and then after this what we're going to do is turn on proportional grid and then we're going to right click the box and add a new solid and what we're going to do is make it white this should be good and then press ok and then we're going to put this on top of the other layers and then we're simply going to cut it in the center go forward a frame for the first clip cut it go forward a frame on the second clip cut it and then delete that and delete this and then go to the first part of the clip and then we're going to make a rectangle tool mask so use your rectangle tool and then you're going to make something like that and then go to the second part and then do the same thing but the other way and the whole point of the proportional grid is to like make sure it's even and proportional and then once you play this back it should look something like this it's very simple but like i've seen this transition like 15,000 million times and then if you want you can go the other way but just like imagine it going add an adjustment layer you're gonna click stopwatch make sure the amount's at zero go towards where the transition is change it to about like maybe like 15 and then yeah change it back to zero and then we're done with the transition anywho now that we have finished the transition what we're gonna do is go over effects now and the first effect is the one frame glitches and we're just gonna show you how to do them really quick we actually only need one clip so what we're gonna do is use this clip right here 
and then we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to add a roto brush on it so and then we're going to double click it and then we're simply going to do something like this just like make sure she's maxed out and then it should cover your whole subject and then if you mess up all you have to do is hold down option or alt and then after that we're going to go back to our composition and then what we're going to do is check our mask and it actually looks pretty decent so I'm going to keep that. So the first effect that I like to add is find edges. It's it's universal. Like you have to know about this. But what I like to do is invert it. And then what I like to do is add deep glow. But since this is like inclusive for everyone, we're going to add some glow. And once we add it and then we increase the glow radius, it should look something like this. We can increase the glow intensity as well. And then we get something like that. If we add hue saturation, we can just like change the whole color of it and then we can also change the colorize what we can do is just like change the saturation of everything and change the colorize hue button whatever but yeah the more saturation it's gonna look like more glitchy to keyframe this just make the keyframe for channel range and then go to the end and then change this to like 100 or something just like to change it to a higher value and then you can get something like this we can add some like damage with our sapphire plugin we can add some digital damage and what this does is give us that like yeah that effect but then to make it one framey all we have to do is cut it go forward one frame literally and then cut it again and then we can also like do it in other places but two frames or whatever but all we have to do is delete the access video part and then we get the one frame literally super easy some more effects that i suggest is warp chroma this is also sapphire and this is like the rgb effect but it's more still and then we can like edit all these properties and what this does is just give us that rgb look and to give the effect that we want all you have to do is duplicate it delete the bottom layer put this on top and then you can like make a mask and then what we can do is change the feather of it so then the edges are more so you know there we go signal is also one of my favorites because it gives us that glitchy tv look last effect of this video i'm going to include some text because what's a glitch edit without glitchy text right click this press new and then text and then we're going to put our name and then we're going to remove the stroke scale this down what we're going to do first is pre-compose the text we're going to duplicate this about three times and then we're going to change the color of these to whatever we want mask them out so this mask is going to be the first like three letters why did i say it like that we're going to do these two letters and then the third mask is going to be the last three letters and it should look something like this you may have to fix the mask sorry i messed this up and then what we're going to do is basically make a glitch so we're going to pre-compose each layer one more time space them out like this and then they should come out like one by one and it's like space them out a little bit more and then after that what we can do is add some like one frame glitches so cut it and then we're gonna like stretch this out so we're gonna press V to bring up our selection tool and we're gonna stretch it out like this and then what we're gonna do is when you play it back it like stretches it out like that and then cut the first frame of this one and then we're gonna do something like this at that one framey glitch look and then for this one what we can do is add like I don't know we can squish this one in and then stretch it out a little bit and then once you play it back we get something like that and then for the last part of the text what we have to do is add a new solid and then we're gonna make it white and then what we're gonna do is mask out like a little rectangle and then this is gonna give us like that typewriter look so we're gonna do like a one frame box like that and then once you play it back you see that it's very like subtle but you can also do this for videos too so layer new solid we can change the opacity of this and then we're simply going to use our pen tool and we're gonna like cut her into thirds so this one's going to be mask one change it back to 100 that's gonna be the first frame and then we're gonna make another solid new solid and then we're gonna change the transparency again opacity again and then we're gonna do a mask like this which is her bottom half well middle half and then what we're gonna do 
is do the last part. So layer, new, solid, opacity, and then we're gonna mask out her bottom half. And the max doesn't need to be perfect because it's gonna be like so fast. So yeah, and then change the transparency back to opacity, back to 100. And then once you play this back, you should get something like this. It's very fast though, I know. But if you want, you can like space them out or like mismatch them, whatever you need to do. But yeah, just an idea. And then another optional thing, if you wanna add some glow to it, you can pre-compose each layer and then add deep glow or just regular glow. But I'm gonna do deep glow because it's just simpler, simpler for me, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Sorry if this video got a little confusing at the end, but yeah. Anyways, glitches are super random. Mess around, try new things, try different effects. I love you, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.